we're going to really be just as a team, try and do everything we can on our side to give them good cars and let them go race for them. Twenty twenty three has been our most difficult and challenging year in the series. Uh, we've won two races, but it's been a slugfest, and the competition has gotten even tougher this year. And as we sit here now, the entire year is kind of culminating in this final weekend at Road Atlanta. Whatever happens, as tough a year as we've had, to be here at the last race still fighting for the team, driver, and manufacturer championships, we're here to just accomplish what we set out to do. And then wherever the points end up, is where we're gonna end up. I'll talk about it in the pre-race. Ryan, what do you got? <clears throat> well, I'll just say, really proud of you guys again. In fact, we got two cars still in the championship hunt. You know, the 33 car beat, he has to either beat the 17, <clears throat> or if they're outside the top five, we can finish one spot behind. If the 98 wins and the 17 and 33 are outside the top eight, 98 wins the championship, we all have something to fight for today. It's hard to project out multiple years. I don't really think that way. I, thinking about right now, really this week, I'm not even really thinking about next year at all. So to think about sustained or continued success, uh, really proud to look back at what this team has accomplished over the last six years with Hyundai uh, and looking forward to what we can accomplish in the future. But the focus right now is only on one just little pinpoint and that's trying to bring this championship home for Robbie and Harry. It's been an absolute honor being able to represent the Hyundai Hope on Wheels with our golden car out there. You know, it looks really pretty. But raising money for a good cause is, you know, always a good thing no matter what you're doing. And uh, I'm just thankful that I get to do that and go racing at the same time. It's uh, truly an honor to be in this position. That first win has eluded us right up here until the finale in Road Atlanta. In fact, that Hyundai is willing to offer up $100 for every lap that a Hyundai leads in the race to help a lot of great children. You know, it speaks volumes. We just need to seal the deal one more time. They know what they have to do. We know what they have to do. And let's not forget, Mason and, and Mark are not out of this either. So we're gonna really be, just as a team, trying to support both of those cars and put everything we can behind it, trying to eliminate mistakes, pit stops, execution, try and do everything we can on our side to give them good cars and let them go race for it. checkered flag you don't know what's going to happen and so to see 98 wins 33 gets championship i think it's manufacturer championship it's uh it's a little bit surreal 
doesn't even feel real yet, man. Like, there's so many things that had to happen, and, you know, they all just came together. It's such a great day for Hyundai, such a great day for Brian Hurd Autosport. I'm just super excited and thankful for this opportunity. Just hats off to the guys. I think it was uh, yeah, a great year for Hyundai. Brian Hurd Autosport swept all three championships. He won two in the championship with Mark and Mason winning today, so literally couldn't have asked for a better day for, for Hyundai and Brian Hurd Autosport. Everything's gotten harder again. And so we're gonna have to really focus in this short off season. How are we gonna get better? So when we get to Daytona in January, we're ready to compete and ready to try and dominate like we have in the past. We know there will be a year where we finally get beat, we get knocked off the top, but this isn't that year. For more race-inspired performance of our entire end lineup, the journey continues at HyundaiUSA.com forward slash next level.